tomorrow I'm going to be doing the wildest ride of my life. Forget riding across lava fields in Iceland, forget riding with wild lions in Botswana. Tomorrow I'm going to be riding through central London on horseback and breaking into the Houses of Parliament and Big Ben. Why you might ask? Let me tell you. We need to ban the live export of horses for slaughter. So at the moment, there's no legislation in place, which means that maybe a childhood pony that's been outgrown or a sport horse that's now retired can be shipped off to Europe for slaughter, which is just absolutely awful. Nobody wants this. So that's why we're going tomorrow to ride on horseback and march on parliament because we need to make a scene about this. We need it to be heard and we need this legislation to go through for the Kept Animals Act. So. We've got quite a lot of planning to do for this, so let me show you the route. I thought we'd do, I was going to say a bit of a course walk, but actually I have Google Maps up here. And I thought I'd walk you through it. So starting off, we're going to be in Hyde Park and we're meeting at the arena there. Now we're also going to be doing this alongside the charity World Horse Welfare that you lot know is where I got my or rehomed my rescue pony, Duke. It's going to be a big load of horses, a big herd. Um, okay, and then we're going to go from Hyde Park down Rotten Row all the way to Wellington Arch and then we're going to go down Constitution Hill all the way to the Buckingham Palace yes I said that correctly the Buckingham Palace where the king lives and then we're going to be going down the mole which is where you might have seen this on tv it's the big red road where often loads of crowds are if there are weddings or um, coronations or jubilees and then we're going to go all the way down there to the horse guards parade and that's where the household cavalry is based and then we're going to go all the way along to the houses of parliament where hopefully when we're there we're going to be talking to an mp now this next bit we don't have permission for but hopefully we're going to try and get into the Houses of Parliament and also get under Big Ben which will be wild so fingers crossed it all goes to plan and we managed to get in there I really really hope so um, we're also gonna have to do a lot of planning when it comes to filming so I've got a, obviously the camera crew with me I'm gonna have a helmet cam on I'm gonna have a vlog camera on me so it's gonna feel like a proper mission so I've got a bit of packing to do so I'm just cleaning my boots a little bit because I feel like there's going to be a lot of press there because it is like an organised kind of thing that we're doing. So I don't want to look awful having like muddy boots. I want to try and look my best. But um, yeah, I'm just getting everything prepared for tomorrow because it is going to be a bit of an early start. Now, I thought I would show you the outfit or the t-shirt that we're all wearing tomorrow, which says stop horse smuggling on the front. And then it also has that on the back with the World Horse Welfare logo and then on both arms too. And then Lemieux have also been very generous and to all of the riders, um, they've kitted them out in um, breeches and things. So I have some new navy breeches which match the top really well. And I'm just deciding what helmet to go for because I'm not worried about looks, I'm thinking more about practicality when it comes to um, the ride and also when it comes to wearing like my helmet camera because normally when I wear my helmet camera I wear like a skull cap like this and put a little hat silk over the top so you can't like see um, the straps of it and also it's just like a little bit easier, it plonks on the front quite nicely but I'm thinking if it's going to be quite sunny I'd quite like to wear a helmet with a bit more of a peak but then I don't want the peak to be in the shot so I'm just deciding what helmet to go for but hopefully, yeah, tomorrow morning, everything will all be sorted and ready to go. Also, I've just realised, I mean, I feel like wearing horsey gear or just like weird clothes in London, nobody's going to care. Like people have really cool fashion sense in London, but I feel like my local train station, um, people might look at me, me a bit funny if I'm wearing my horse stuff. So um, yeah, that will be interesting. If you could please subscribe and like today's video, that would mean so much to try and get this video out there for the YouTube algorithm to push it and more people to see it because we really are trying to get this legislation through. So I'll see you tomorrow once I'm packed and ready at a train station in my riding gear for the big day. Yeah, when I blow up, I'm a sore high like Peter Pan. In real life, be living all my dreams. If I'm waking up, it's in a foreign land. Whole wrist covered up in ice. Dealership, never asked the price. I hit the molly ball with my dogs. Yeah, I swipe it once without thinking twice. Cause this what I was made for. Man, I know this what I came for. On a big stage, couple thousand people, they do whatever I say so. <laughs> Ready, up, ready, up. 
Welcome to London. We're in Hyde Park at the moment. Did have a few people give me a few odd looks when I was in the tube or on the train, that kind of thing. But we're here and we have all the horses from Wimbledon Village Stables behind us. They're all just getting out of the horse box now, getting tacked up. They seem really chilled. Obviously, this sort of environment is something that they're used to. That's why I'm not riding my own horses here. Not sure what they would think to the centre of London, but there we go. Anyway, it shouldn't be too long until I find out which horse I'm riding, which I'm very excited for. They all look so cute. <laughs> so we've now moved up to the sand arena. Now all the horses are tacked up and the people from the stables are currently riding the horses um, in the sand arena here, actually. I think they're just getting ready for team photos. So they're all lined up. We're now here with Roly, who is the head of World Horse Welfare. So tell me a little bit more about why we're here today. What are our aims and how people can help? So we're at Hyde Park Barracks and we've had a ride down to Parliament and you're kindly going to ride with us yes. along with Sarah Cox and Jane Holden Slotham, an Olympic gold medalist. Um, and the aim of today is to promote the importance of the Kept Animals Bill. It's a piece of legislation that's been stuck in the House of Commons for over 500 days and unless it's passed by the end of the year then it will fall. And there are many good parts to this bill but of most relevance to World Health Welfare is the fact it would formally ban the live export of animals for slaughter. And that's a founding issue for World Horse Welfare. So we are desperate that the government actually makes good on its manifesto pledges. It's a really good piece of legislation. It has cross-party support. The animal welfare world is fully behind it. So we just want them to get on and do what we elected them to do. So fingers crossed everything goes all good today. So I'll leave some links in the description below if you guys want to find out a little bit more information about it. But anyway, it's time to get on our horses and get ready. Look forward to it. And of course, people can promote it through World Horse Welfare. They can write to the Prime Minister and promote getting the kept animals bill across the line. We're now here with Sarah Cox that a lot of you might know from the TV and radio, but not many of you might know that she's also an equestrian. So tell me a little bit more about your horsey journey. I heard that you got a horse in lockdown. Yes, I, um, I just, you know, it was a time where you were so restricted and everybody had a bit of time to reevaluate and reassess what they were doing with their lives and I just thought what am I waiting for it's got to happen now work yeah. settled the kids are a bit bigger they can feed themselves uh, it was time for me to get a horse and I, I kept telling people it had been 20 years I was like it's been 20 years since I've had my own horse I was 17 and then I did the maths and I was like oh my god it was 30 years since yeah. I had a horse so I'd, I'd been I'd ridden at Goodwood a couple of times I'd borrowed friends ponies I'd exercised a race horse but I had not had my own for 30 years so I took the plunge uh, 2020 and she arrived Nelly 61 Irish Aww. sport horse she's beautiful lovely Daphne Bay and she arrived uh, on Halloween oh on, wow uh, 2020 yeah Oh, I always say, like, once a horse person, always a horse person. So we're talking about horses. Have you met which horse you're riding at today? <laughs> no, I'm better not being a little one. It's yeah. too humiliating. <laughs> Shall we go and see who you're legs. on? <laughs> so, yeah, let's hope I've got a big one. Uh, cut to neck shot of me on a Shetland. Yeah. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now on Havana, who is a bay mare. Apparently, she's a very chilled horse, so doesn't really spook at much. So that is good to hear, especially as we're going through the centre of London. But no, I've got that sort of weird, like, nerve nervous excitement feeling at the moment. I'm going to say it's more excitement, but yeah, no, should be, should be a wild ride. Good girl. You ready? You ready? I will be your shield in the fiercest battle I'll defend you from all these arrows and the sword I will will keep you from danger. Let me be your shield. We are now on horseback, we're in our little convoy and we've just ridden across Hyde Park and we're now leaving the park. We're kind of going into Central now, so I feel like everything's starting to feel a bit more real. There's a lot of people taking photos of us, so we are kind of standing out, which will hopefully get everyone's attention, but this is wild. Oh my goodness, wait, let me turn you around. Oh my goodness. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's just you, me, and the odds. We stuck together, we two peas in a pod. You dealt a bad hand, I'm there seizing the cards. We'll never be separated till we see in the cards. So we're getting closer. I can see Big Ben up in the distance, and we're now coming up to Buckingham Palace. 
So yeah, the, we're very glad that we've got the police here with us who are stopping all the traffic because I have a feeling it's going to be quite busy coming up here. Yeah. Almost at the Houses of Parliament and Big Ben. We are so close now. We're almost there. I'll show you my view. I'll turn you around. Look at that. What a view. Um, to try and get this bill through Parliament um, for the Kept Animals Act to prevent horses being smuggled out of the UK for slaughter. Um, this is really important because nobody wants this, nobody wants horses to be slaughtered, um, all smuggled out of the UK. So um, that's why we're here today, to try and raise awareness and get this act put through. So World Horse Welfare is a really important charity and really close to my heart. I've rehomed my horse or my pony Duke from World Horse Welfare um, two, almost two years ago now and um, the work that World Horse Welfare do is really important. I feel really honoured to be invited um, to this um, March on Parliament today and be part of all of this. So there are two different things that people can do. You can write to Parliament um, to try and get this bill through and you can also donate to try and um, help put some money towards the cause. That is everything complete. We're now packing up after taking the photos, making sure we leave nothing behind. Now it's time to take these beautiful horses that have been so well behaved back home for a well-deserved rest. She's also having a little bit of a pit stop now because she's having some grass, but she was such a good girl. Why are you here, Anna? Hey? Yeah, let's go. We're just heading down Rotten Row now and we're just turning off to go to the arena, get the horses untacked and get them home. They've all been absolutely incredible. Well done Havana! Good girl! It's safe to say yesterday was an absolutely wild day to be in the centre of London on horseback going past some of the most iconic scenes and sights in the world. It was so nice because there were loads of tourists as well, they're all taking photos of us, so hopefully we can spread the word because we had all the hashtags all over our arms and on our high vis. But yeah, I know a lot of you also asked me how you can help, so I'll leave some links in the description below and also to my link tree um, where you can find out more information. Also, if you're a UK resident, it'd be really great if you could sign the petition. It only takes a few minutes so we can send that off to Parliament and hopefully get that bill through. Also, um, there'll be some links to donating as well towards the cause and also towards World Horse Welfare which do such excellent work with horses. For example, um, they're the reason that Duke's with us here today. Um, they gave him around the clock care when he first came in, when they sort of took him in and there are so many other horses like Duke out there that really need their help. So if you could help at all, that would be incredible. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching today's video and I'll see you next time. Bye.